Hey, what's going on guys? I've got a 2007 Dodge Charger here. I'm using this vehicle to show you the location of all of the fuses for the radio. So we're gonna make our way to the trunk, lift up this cover here, that's gonna expose our fuse box. So we open up this fuse box by pushing in on this tab here and lifting up. Now there's different trim levels of the charger. And so they may have different fuses. Some may or may not be missing, but they will all have fuses here and here. These are the two main radio fuses. The five amp fuse here that I'm removing, this provides power for the antenna. And the 20 amp fuse next to it, this provides power to the head unit. So you can remove the fuse, take a look at it, see if it's blown or not. This fuse is what a good fuse looks like. You can see there's that neat little u-shaped piece in there now there are also some amplifier fuses these are fuses you'll want to check if your head unit powers on but you don't hear any audio so the main amplifier fuse is here this provides power for the main amp for the normal speakers if your car is the optional factory equipped subwoofer you'll have a fuse here for the subwoofer amplifier there's also a 10 amp fuse in this location that provides power to the steering wheel control module. And that's a fuse you may wanna check if the controls on the steering wheel for the radio are not operational. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you've got any advice for troubleshooting the radio on your Dodge Charger.